Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different from what I'd normally do on the channel. I'm really into modding video games, uh, you know, from Star Wars to Halo to um, Mass Effect. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to have occasional videos where I showcase some new mods that maybe people haven't heard of, something you may want to get in the future, or you just want to see what it's all about on the video itself. So I'm going to be showing a new mod for Halo Combat Evolved. This mod's pretty cool. It, it totally overhauls the game. If you guys know about it, let me know in the comments. I do think it's cool to give these mod creators, you know, some recognition for their hard work. So without further ado, let's begin the showcase. So the mod I'll be showcasing today is the Halo SOI's single player adventure mod. Uh, it was created by SOI underscore 7. Essentially, what it does is it overhauls the entire campaign of Halo Combat Evolved from beginning to end. Every mission is modified with new weapons from future Halo games, new enemies to fight, new models, new textures, and even completely new areas that were never in the base game. For instance, in the Pillar of Autumn opening level, there's a massive hangar bay where you're fighting Covenant forces. It's very open and vast, and there's different uh, corridors you can go through along these walkways. New cutscenes to the game, based off, from what I gather, uh, cut content or possibly just the creator's own ideas. I do know they restored some cut content from the game. Chief, there. Are any of the ship defenses online? The Hyperion missiles technically still have power, but we'll have to fire them manually from the outer deck. The weapons are completely overhauled. Not only do the original weapons sound different, for instance, the assault rifle. As you can see, it sounds like the Halo 4 assault rifle. They added the battle rifle. It works great, it acts a punch, and it's a great addition to the game. They also added the Brute Plasma Rifle, which is extremely powerful and shoots very quick. They even added the Halo 2 SMG. Love that gun. Uh, I really like the models. They remind me of the Halo Wars models, and if you're not familiar with the Halo Wars models, here's a picture of them uh, compared to uh, the ones in the game. The grunts and the elites look like Halo Wars, makes them look a little bit different. And I know it's not like a big thing, but it just gives you a slightly different feel. Also the Marines, they look like they're from Halo 3, which is nice, I think that's pretty cool. Master Chief looks like a beast, he's got this pretty cool new armor, it kind of reminds you of the armor in Halo Infinite. A little bit of that, a little bit of um... Master Chief from some of the old, uh, what is it, the Halo Legends anime that was out a long time ago. There's also like a unique style to it because there's a uh, antenna now on his back, which I think is pretty cool. Even with vehicles or models are different. Some, like the Warthogs, have six wheels. Never thought I would see a Warthog with three wheels on either side, but it's really cool as well. Aside from models, uh, Brutes from Halo 2 and beyond are now in Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, you have a squad of ODSTs with you now, as opposed to the original game where it was just some marines. And they added a, uh, bluish hue. I know the level already had a bluish, purpley hue, but, uh, it feels stronger in this mod. And it creates that nighttime aura, that stealth infiltration kind of vibe. And it also feels very alien, and there's Covenant everywhere, so it adds to the atmosphere in that regard. The weapons sound very wholesome. The sniper rifle packs a punch. The reload animations are really good. I, I believe they're ported from the newer Halos, but uh, for the SMG, but um, regardless, it's seamless. It fits very well into Halo Combat Evolved. And of course, um, we can't forget the most important thing we added in this game. Literally added our boy Craig from Halo Infinite. You guys know about Halo, you'll know who Craig is. He doesn't need an introduction. And uh, that's a pretty awesome little Easter egg put there. And just so you guys know, I didn't show everything the mod has to offer uh, because I haven't actually completed the mod. Uh, I'm just showing you what I've experienced so far. But I do know there are many new weapons that I didn't mention in the showcase. There's also a new soundtrack. Uh, they added music from future Halo games like Reach and ODST. And of course, this is entirely subjective. Halo Combat Evolved had a great soundtrack, a very memorable one. Uh, but this just changes it up a bit. 
adds some replayability, creates a different mood, uh, and it's just a refreshing take on the game. Also, I wasn't able to show the music just because of concerns of copyright. Uh, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to be safe in case. Overall, I would say this is a very good mod. If you do want to play this mod, you can find it on the Nexus mod site on the Halo Master Chief Collection. And you can also find it on ModDB, uh, but if you want to play it on the uh, ModDB version, uh, you need the Halo Custom Edition. I believe the only way you can get the Halo Custom Edition is if you own the PC version of the original game. So uh, it might be just easier to get it on Nexus mods assuming you have Master Chief Collection. And I will put the links in the description for both. If you guys like this kind of mod showcase and you want to see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of just testing the waters, trying to incorporate some more content outside of just Star Wars. Of course, I will be showing off any cool Star Wars mods that come out that I find as well. Other than that, I mean, if you have any other ideas for mods you want to see or you want to share with other people and I can showcase it on the uh, channel, let me know in the comments, and thanks again guys for the support. If you don't already know, I do have a Patreon that I have put up for uh, support for, towards the channel to help me with funding the animation so I can continue to improve the quality of the videos. With that being said, pretty much all I have for this video. So, thanks guys. Have a good day.